Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. I hope you're doing well. A question we get asked all the time is how to calculate how much funding you need for your startup or business. If you're going out there to raise money, to take out a loan, to get a grant, how much should you ask for and why? In this important video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to calculate startup costs, including a worksheet that you can use to figure this out for yourself and then determine how much money you should go try to get and what type of funding to go after. This is really important, you know, over the past few years, we've helped tens of thousands of businesses get collectively over $2 billion. And we help businesses at all stages from starting out to growing to getting funded. So if you're new to Skip, welcome. Hit subscribe, turn on the alerts if you find this valuable and consider hitting the like button. It's the best way to tell YouTube other people should see this information. Also be sure to watch until the end. I'll tell you how you can win a thousand dollar grant from the Skip team. So I'm gonna go through this worksheet and I'm gonna have a link at the end on how you can calculate your startup costs and determine your potential funding needs. So here's something important to keep in mind. It's related to the SBA's EIDL program, one of the most popular programs ever. Nearly 4 million businesses got collectively $380 billion. Many of you watching successfully got EIDL funding and we directly helped tens of thousands of people get this funding. A question we often asked folks when we were helping them get increases of 50K, 500K, 1 million, oftentimes the full 2 million was, how much funding do you need? And many people would come back and say, oh, whatever the maximum amount is. And then we would say, that's great, we can help you get it, but just keep in mind, these are loans, and any money you take on, perhaps besides grants, has strings attached to it. So you should keep that in mind when you're going after money. You know, an example I often used with the EIDL program, those were 30 year, fixed rate loans. The interest rate is 3.75%. The maximum you could get was $2 million and interest starts accruing from day one. So if you took a $1 million or $2 million loan, the monthly interest that you are already paying is in the thousands of dollars. That's thousands of dollars every month, probably more than your rent. So we want everyone to be aware of that, whether you're raising money to give out equity or you're taking loans to pay back at higher interest rates, keep these things in mind. And the best starting point is to figure out your costs. What are the costs of your business, both the one-time costs that you incurred and your monthly expenses, especially if you're pre-revenue, this is important. If you're making revenue, you can try to match up revenue with expenses and then project out, hey, if you wanna make these certain hires, you're gonna need X amount of funding. So number one, let me go through this quickly, how to calculate how much you need. Like I said, you can access this in a blog post below. So first up is rent. So if you have a storefront, this would be relevant to put down. Many people do not need to put anything here. If your business is completely online, if you don't have a brick and mortar store, or an office space for your team. You may not need to put anything here. Then any improvement costs to move into the space. Did you need to do any renovations or supplies? Did you need to get any inventory when you moved in? For example, if you're a food business, you had to purchase food items before you could open up to the public. So what were those one-time expenses? That's important to know also for tax purposes as well. And then did you have to get any license or permits, legal fees, signage technology, software, one-time expenses? Again, think about when you were first starting out, what did you have to pay for? Once you tally those up, you can see your one-time expenses. Now the important part is your monthly expenses. If you have an office space or a storefront, put down what those costs are. Then put down your employee and team expenses. This could be W-2s, this could be 1099s. This is probably going to be your biggest expense. For example, if you have 10 employees making 80K a year, that monthly payroll amount would be around $66,000. Add on payroll taxes, depending on what state you're in. According to our EIDL survey from a few months ago, payroll was the second most common use of EIDL funds at 26%, the first being paying off business debt, 29% reported that that was their primary use of EIDL funds, followed by payroll, then it went down from there. So bottom line, payroll is gonna be one of your biggest expenses. Then put down any professional services you have, such as accounting or legal or any other consultants. For example, if you had a Skip VIP membership to get monthly grant funding and business support, you could put that down here under consultants. Then put down your operating supply costs. What are your monthly averages to keep the business running? And the next big one for many businesses 
is going to be software. Your domain and hosting costs, depending on how your website's set up, and your software costs, what are the software costs that you are using to power your business. Then any marketing costs to, to acquire customers, what are your costs, digital advertising, promotional materials, and finally, any other miscellaneous items, liability insurance, organizational dues. We didn't put down loan debt here because we wanna keep that separate for now, but that would be really important for you to know as well. We definitely don't want people to get in a cycle of taking out loans to pay off loans. But that being said, it's not a bad strategy, especially with a lot of these SBA loans that have great interest rates, great terms. So do some of our private partners, but the SBA is still one of the best. So here we go, let's examine the total funds required and what that means in terms of a six month, 12 month or 24 month runway. But before I reveal all that on the SBA note, one example from this morning, we just helped someone get a $5 million SBA 7A loan. Huge shout out to our our team who works tirelessly to work with you to make sure that you have all the right documents, that you know your options, and that you are putting your best foot forward, whether it's SBA 7A, 504, microloans program up to 50K, or grant programs. We talked about a lot of grant programs last week. We've got a couple more coming this week. So if you wanna be guaranteed a spot to get one-on-one -on -one help, use the link in the description. You'll get priority access to our VIP or platinum one-on-one -on -one services. I can't recommend it enough, whether you're just starting out, you're looking for funding, or you want to grow your business. Okay, so here it is in this worksheet. The total funds required would be $120,000 just getting started and paying that first month. If you want a six month runway, that's $600,000, 12 month runway, 1.2 million, and a two year runway, almost $2.5 million. And this assumes no revenue. So hopefully as you grow your business, you bring on revenue and you can become cash flow positive. And then your decision to take on outside capital is purely based on you thinking about growth. How do you grow the team? How do you accelerate your marketing, your distribution? But when you get to that point, you're in the driver's seat. You will have the leverage when it comes to lenders and banks. They'll say, hey, this is a great cash flow positive business. Why wouldn't I want to loan them money? or buy a piece of their business. And we put down these three examples here, six months, 12 months, and 24 months as three guideposts. Look, three months should be a minimum to cover. We recommend a six month minimum, but if you can look longer term, especially when the economy is going through a difficult time, it's good to have a little bit more runway. And a great rule of thumb is, hey, if capital is available to you, pursue your options. Once you've been approved, you can always decide whether you want to sign the documents to take it or not. But if you don't ask, if you don't get help from our team, you'll never know what you're eligible for. You may be eligible for 100K, 1 million, or even more. Unless you try to go through a lender and ask them, or a VC, you'll never know. So we know it takes time. That's why we're here to help make the process easier for you. If you wanna go through this worksheet, use the link below. We've added this to a blog post where we share a few more details. And by the way, since the summer of 2020, we've been donating most of our YouTube revenue to give out to YouTube subscribers. Currently, we're doing multiple thousand dollar grants every single month. If you wanna find out the latest, it's free to enter. Go to helloskip.com slash 1K. Throw your hat in the ring. It's a small thing, but we always wanna give back when we can and support entrepreneurs and small business owners. Would love to hear if you find this useful and what else would be helpful. Most importantly, thanks for tuning in. Stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.